but Chodrig's been really popular at the minute. I thought I'd show you my favourite setup. It's a really nice and simple way, and it's completely foolproof, so you can't go too far wrong. So I start off by threading on base on tungsten heli chod system. Next, what I'll do when it's on my main line, I'll take the top bead off so I can slide my chod rig over the top of it. So I've now threaded my chod rig onto the heli chod system and I've secured it in place with that first bead. Because it doesn't have a lot of movement, I've moved it a bit further up, but it keeps it nice and safe still because the beads will move should the fish come snagged. So all I've done now is I've threaded on a baseline tungsten extended chod release system and at the end of my line there all I've done is I've tied on a splice ring and it just pulls inside there and they're supplied with the pack. I've attached the lead on the end and all I've done is there's some holes either side of the extended chod release. On that side there's three holes, on the other side there's one hole so you can set the variable tension. All I've done then is I've pulled the lead, uh, this splice ring straight through and I've attached my lead on by pulling and putting that on first. I've just secured the lead in place to withstand the cast by putting a PVA breakdown foam nugget in there and that'll just stop it from coming undone when I'm casting but because it'll break down then should I get a fish the lead will eject just when I want it to if it gets like snared up in weed or something. 